Thank yous, uh, really, uh, to, uh, to get us today. There's been a huge amount of work been done uh, by lots of people uh, and all of that time given for free. So I'd like to thank everybody for that. Uh, thank you for the Wine and Song group here. Uh, for all they've done here. It's, it's a nice reminder of all those songs that I remember from my youth when I was obviously very, very small. Uh, to the Cafe Sunbeams for all that they've done today. I'd also like to thank uh, Paul Davis, who's very generously given the, uh, the shop here, which has been turned into this exhibition. Thank you very thank much, you. Paul. <laughs> so for others who've helped out, Jo Parmentier in the, in the States office, who's here somewhere, although you won't be able to see her because I think she might be in disguise. <laughs> Thanks, Jo. Uh, and also to Francis, uh, who's done an enormous amount of work in getting us to today. So. And again, all for free. So thanks very much, Francis, for being here. <laughs> to the uh, family of Elizabeth Beresford, uh, we have Kate here, who's, uh, who's going to say a few words in a moment, but also Marcus, um, for all your generosity and, and letting us have some of the artifacts and uh, bits and pieces here. Thank you for everything that you've done too. And last, but by no means least, by no means least to Donald, who's been the driving force behind this exhibition. Well, I hope you all uh, enjoy the exhibition, get a chance to go and have a look today. But first, Kate wants to say a few words. Thank you very much. I was going to say exactly that. All the thank yous which, uh, to everybody who's been so kind and generous with the exhibits who've organised it. Donald and Francis have just done a wonderful job, so thank you very much. And to the States, because they put some money up to make all the wonderful exhibits, um, the, the explanations on the, on the cards and everything, so you'll see that when you go in, they're fantastic. And all the marvellous dancing and the singing, thank you very much indeed. I wish Mum could have been here, but she had so many wonderful happy years on the on Alderney, as you know. It's actually 50 years this year, since we first came here, she thought she was going to Scotland. <laughs> we got off the plane and found this wonderful, sunny island with a community who have always been so kind to the family. And um, I think the Wombles are really based on Alderney rather than Wimbledon sometimes, you know. <laughs> but thank you very much indeed. I do have one message from Great Uncle Bulgaria for you. And he says, uh, Wombles of Wimbledon are very grateful for the honour that the island of Alderney has paid by setting up this magnificent Womble and Life of Eliza exhibition. Alderney is a very special place and will always be loved by Wombles throughout the world. P.S. Alderney Womble sends her love. <laughs> so thank you all very much and make sure that everybody comes and sees the exhibitions open until mid-September. Yeah. Mid-September, so come and see it. Tell your friends on the mainland to come over and see it and enjoy Alderney while they're here. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> children of Orma House School, under the tutelage of Maggie Burridge, made this lovely Alderney Wall bunker. Oh. <laughs> it's now officially open. Remember, 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 remember. Remember, remember, remember what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful you are. Remember, remember, remember what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful you are. Remember, remember, remember what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful you are. Remember, remember, remember what a wonderful,